Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode 7 of the 120 Days to Jump Mathematics with Flash Isaac. Remember, we are still answering questions under number and numeration. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at two questions. The first question says, if the simple interest on 550 Naira at 4% per annum is 220 Naira, find the time. Which means, this question deals with simple interest. The aim of doing business or of giving out loan is to have interest. Interest is the money paid on capital. If I give you a loan, take this 50,000 Naira. You are paying back in six months' time. You are not expected to give me exactly that 50,000 Naira for different reasons. One, I'm giving you that money as loan for business. I'm expected to earn profit. Two, money has time value. Money depreciates with time. So the value of 50,000 now is not the same as the value of 50,000 in the next six months. So you need to compensate for that decrease in the value of money. Time value of money. Simple interest. When you are given simple interest questions or what you are expected to know so long as simple interest is concerned is that the simple interest SI is equals principal times rate times time all over 100. This is simple interest. What is principal? Principal is the money available for business. The loan you give out or you take or the money you use to start business. That is principal. What is rate? Rate is the interest. When you are given simple interest question, Anytime you see a number, then percentage after, that shows the rate. And when you are writing the rate, you need not to say over 100 again, because this 100 is compensating for the rate. Just write only the number before the percentage. Now, when you are given time, years, months, days, that speaks of time. For simple interest questions, we usually calculate time in years. In years, what does that mean? If I give you time to be six months, you convert it to year. How do you convert time from month to years? This is what you do. We know that one year is equals twelve months. If I say, okay, find time. Or if I give you time in six months, six, to convert it to a year, you say, okay, let six months be S years. One, one year, 12 months. Six months, let it be S years. You cross multiply. One times six is six, is equals S times 12, 12 S. To find S, divide both sides. By 12. So 1 over 2 is equals s. In other words, if I give you time in 
months, you divide it by 12. If the simple interest on 550 Naira, so the interest is usually on the capital. For simple interest, interest is usually on the capital. Meanwhile, this is what differentiates simple interest from compound interest. In compound interest, interest is being paid on interest. Why for simple interest, interest is paid on principal. Uh, principal. So we are paying interest on 550 Naira. That gives us the principal to be 550 Naira. At 4%, that is rate which equals 4%. So, if the simple interest on 550 Naira at 4% per annum is, if the simple interest is, so the simple interest is given to be 220 Naira. Interest is equals P R O T over 100. Principal rate and time over 100. Since you can be asked for anything, if you are asked for the simple interest, you use this formula. If you are asked for time, you simply say cross multiply. 100 times interest is equals P R O T. And remember, change of subject formula. To make time subject formula, we divide both sides by principal and rate. Principal times rate. To make rate subject formula, we divide both sides by PT. To make P subject formula, we divide both sides by ROT. So, if I'm making T subject formula, you divide here by PRO, you divide here by PRO. So that PRO cancels PRO, you have time to be 100I over PRO. Similarly, if you are looking for principal, P is equals 100 i over rot rot similarly if you are looking for rate rate is equals 100 in times interest over p t if you are, if you look at all the questions there is no number carrying percent or percentage that means no rate is given you find the rate. Questions under simple interest are pretty very simple. So once again, if the simple interest on 550 Naira at 4% per annum is 220 Naira, find the time. So time is 100 times interest over principal times rate. This will simply give you 100 times 220 principal which is 550 times rate which is 4 percent put only 4 ignore the percentage look at something which is very very important in mathematics you will be uh, you will think about something should i cancel or should i not cancel when you are given a fraction numbers at the top and numbers at the bottom you can only cancel on two conditions if only one number is at the top let's say and one at the bottom or you have two numbers at the top separated by times and only one at the bottom four or any other number or you have two numbers at the top, two numbers at the bottom. They are all separated by multiplication. Or you have three numbers at the top, three at the bottom. They are separated by multiplication. Or many numbers at the top, many at the bottom. And what is separating each of them is multiplication. That is the only time you can cancel. And maybe other exceptional cases we will see very soon. Since here is this times this, and here is this times this, if you multiply this and this, you get a single number. Multiply this and this, you get a single number. Which means you can cancel before you you can you are free to cancel up and down. You can say one zero cancels one zero. 
two here is two, two here is 50. Two here is one, two here is 25. Which means here is 25 times 22 over 55. I am not trying to bore you or make life difficult for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so long you get here, anything you can do or anyhow you can multiply or divide to get 10 years, do it. That is your answer, 10 years. So solve the way that is best for you. The simple interest on 8,550 Naira for 3 years at S percent per annum is 4,890 Naira. The simple interest is on the principal. So the principal is 8,550 Naira for 3 years. Time is 3 years. At S percent is 4,890 Naira. So the simple interest is 4,890 Naira. Time, 3 years. Principal, 8,550 Naira. So they say at S% per annum. Find the value of S. S, percentage after S, simply means S is the rate. So S is not a big D. It is another way of saying find the rate. If you are looking for the rate, rate is 100 times interest over principal times time. That is 100 times 4,890 all over 8,550 Naira times 3. Finally, this says a man invested 5,000 Naira for 9 months at 4%. What is the simple interest? Now, we are looking for simple interest. Principal is the amount invested 5,000 Naira. Rate is 4%. Time is 9 months. So, you convert it to a year. 9 months is 9 divided by 12 years. That is 3 over 4 years. Here is 3 over 4. Here is 4. <coughs> Here is 5,000 Naira. When you solve that, you should get 150 Naira. So, ladies and gentlemen, hope I've been able to do justice to simple interest. Thank you. And your assignment is, open the Flash Note Jam app. Go to question search, type simple interest, answer all the questions there. If you have issue with any question, reach me on any of my social handles. I will help you out. See you in the next episode.